All right, we're recording yet? Are we recording yet? I heard it say recording, but I'm not sure. Anyway, man, what's happening, y'all? This is the off season. I'm your boy, OG Tim Wilson, and I am here with the Nasty Boys, Big Ed and Waze. What up, though, fellas? What up, what up? What is up? All right, what we would do is we normally we like to start our show with a shot, but... <laughs> <laughs> I ain't got nothing to shoot. So Next week, we going we gonna let it roll. We just gonna we just gonna roll out without the shot. Well, you know, I do a shot of water. Hold on, let me get my shot glass. I'm gonna fill it up with some water. I bet. Oh, that's a lot. Ooh, this is a big shot. It's it's for <laughs> big shot. What's up, big shot? Yeah. <laughs> All right, let's do this. I'm shooting water. Go to bed, big shot. All right, all right. So we've got uh got a fun show. Again, it's the off season. Five topics and we in and we out. Uh first topic, I'm gonna go ahead and hit it off the top. We are all bracket busted. Every single one of us are bracket yeah. busted. Yeah. Uh do you have anybody left in the final four? Uh I don't believe so. I don't. I'm done. My bracket is over. Uh, I had Zaga and Xavier were still yeah, alive yeah. last I checked. They're out. Gonzaga got beat okay. by 30 points. Oh, man. <laughs> yeah. yeah we, we're all busted. Uh, now, the um, so we're all in the same place, though. So Big Ed is, wins. Mm-hmm. Is Big Ed in first? I'm in second. Way's in third. And Dijon. No celebrating. It's by default. It's all right. It's all right. He can celebrate. You know, you know, you know, big Ed. He can celebrate. Um, it was it was terrible. It was terrible. I was my my bracket is is busted up. It's horrible. We're all busted. Mm-hmm. And um, UConn, I think, is about to win it all. Alabama got beat. Florida A and A U and. Um, who they playing? Florida Atlantic is playing uh, um, San Diego State. Neither one of them have ever been to the Final Four, and now one of them are about to go to the finals. Wow! How hmm. about that? Because they play each other. So uh, that is, I think UConn is about to take it all. Though that other bracket is tough. That UConn, UConn, and uh, I think Miami. UConn and Miami. Miami was. Uh, my last living team, and I mean, no, the, the team that Miami beat. Who did they knock off? Kansas. I think they knocked off Kansas. That had them going to the Final Four. So uh, yeah, it's, it's no, they beat Texas. I had Texas, so they beat Texas. So Miami is is in against UConn. I think UConn's about to take it. Uh, UConn just looks incredible. They beat Gonzaga by thirty points. 30. Yeah. They didn't beat everybody by over 20 so far. Nobody's come within 20 points of them yet. I think they uh I think uh they got LeBron. Okay, uh so that's it. <laughs> yeah, cuz the Lakers ain't got him. The Lakers do have him. Stop. He's back. He's back. Uh oh, I don't have my sound effects. Whatever. We're going to go without sound. No sound effects today, folks. Uh, so none of this, me reaching over the camera, trying to uh, get a sound effect off. Um, I'm going to switch to football real quick. The Lamar Jackson saga continues. Mm-hmm. Um, any thoughts? I don't even have to explain it. Any thoughts? It seems like... It, it, it seems like- there's some collusion going on between the owners right now. Um, I think that's, I think there's a little bit of credence to that, but at the same time, I think a large part of it is nobody wants to give up two first round picks that, and guarantee this dude $800 billion. <laughs> right. I mean, that's a lot. That's a lot to do. That's a lot to give up. I mean, yeah, you won a, a league MVP, but you've also been hurt two years in a row for a significant amounts of time. 
and it, and you're trying to reset the whole quarterback market. Well, he's not resetting it. He's just he's just uh, he's going for his value. He's but, following. Uh, he's following the Deshaun Deshaun Watson reset reset the uh, reset the value. He, what? He, he wants Deshaun money. But Deshaun just restructured his contract for less money. You think so? <laughs> you believe that bullshit? They didn't say he restructured for less money. They said he restructured and and to to make more room under the cap. They did not oh. say he lost money. Okay. No. Understand that. Yeah. Uh, you got you got to read the words that are coming out of their mouths. And as far as Lamar and this all goes, He's after he announced the fact that he asked for a trade on March second, then they franchise tagged him Killing and the then side. put out they their front office is the ones putting out all the information that he wants all this extra money, all this, that, and this or another. Lamar is not once himself said it. That's why he goes to Twitter and starts putting out his information. Lamar needs an agent. He needs an agent. That's absolute. He absolutely yeah. needs an NFLPA agent. But at the same time, he kind of outgamed him when Jim Harbaugh had that interview. And he put them on the hot seat. Now it's either get rid of me or pay me. And now he don't even want the money. He just wants to be gone. He wants to be gone. But the problem is who wants him? Uh, there's been a lot of talk around here about people here talking about the Lions need to give up Jared Goff and, and go get Lamar and... Dan Campbell said he's a great quarterback. Or he's very hard to defend, but we got a quarterback. And he doesn't fit Detroit's system. They're saying the same thing here in Minnesota, too. <laughs> I don't want him. You know, I mean, it's, it's, I get why Detroit doesn't want him. I do. I, I get why they don't want him. Uh, Jared Goff is a good fit. Jared Goff fits what they're doing. Right. And he's been in the system, and they don't want to. They got to start over to bring in Lamar. Jared Goff has been to a Super Bowl. Lamar has not won a playoff game. Let's let's face that. He's won an MVP, but he has not won a game in the playoffs. Period. Yep. He is bad. He's had very subpar playoff performances so far in his career. So, uh, not to say that he can't take a t- team to the Super Bowl, but he has not taken a team past the first round yet. Right. So, there's a lot working against him. And 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 then there's then there's p- potential of, of collusion because nobody wants the market to stay where Cleveland put the market. Right. They want to drive it back down to reality. Yep. Because uh, that contract that Deshaun Houston Watson got is outrageous. That was yeah. That don't get me wrong. He's a great he's a great player back then. You know when they had information to go off of. Last season, absolutely not a great player. Yeah, he showed he wasn't worth that two hundred thirty million. Well, right. not yet. I, I mean, he, he was he was rusty. Let, let's see what happens this year. I'm not gonna count him. I'm not gonna go in go in on him like that yet. But uh, I don't think Lamar is. I don't think Lamar is going to get. I don't say that he's not worth the money because you're worth whatever somebody's willing to pay you. I don't care what Big Ed says. He's you work whatever somebody's willing to pay. You. That's, and see, I, that's, that's your work. That's the thing. I don't think nobody's willing to pay him what he thinks he's worth. Nobody's willing to pay him that and give up two picks. That's yeah. that's where the that's where things change. I got to give up two first round picks and pay you all that money. That's where it gets sticky. And that's and where I think I, why Raven I, just put a price on him that nobody's willing to pay. I think that's even more likely than the collusion and i think that's why lamar made it very clear in his uh twitter post that it's not about the money he just wants out he wants to go and help a team win a super bowl as he said so at that point he's like i'm willing to not get all this money they're saying i want i just want to go play somewhere else and try to win a super bowl there so where does he end up I've heard a lot of talk about Indianapolis going to get him. Indy's definitely looking. I don't think they're going to be the ones that sign him, though, or get that trade. It's going to be interesting. 
Uh, it's it's going to be interesting. Something something coming up is going to be interesting in that regard. I'm going to re- hold that thought, Big Head. Um, not one of my stories, but I do on the on since we're on this quarterback carousel type topic. I thought I heard an interesting conversation today. What's the most interesting scenario that could happen with Aaron Rodgers right now? Most interesting scenario. I'll tell you mine, just to get the ball started. Okay. Okay. The Jets go get Lamar. Mm-hmm. Now what happens to Aaron Rodgers? <laughs> Does he go to the Ravens? No. Does he stay in Green Bay? No, I, I don't think he he's turned the whole town against him. I yeah, don't think he can stay in Green Bay now. Do they put him on the bench? Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> him on the bench with, with Justin Fields kicking the Packers ass. <laughs> oh. oh, man, I would love that. It's a dark horse, but I see it go. I could see a potential of him ending up in Indy if Lamar goes to the Jets. If he doesn't go, um, I think he retires. I don't think I think if if Green Bay say, you know what, we can't find a trade partner that that's willing to give us what we want for you, so it's no deal. I think he retires. Yeah, I think so too. I think that was a miscalculation on Aaron Rodgers' part. He forgot the fact that there's this looming cloud called Lamar Jackson still hanging in the NFL that could just completely spoil all of his plans if he goes to the Jets. Fuck it all up. <laughs> I've heard a lot of talk about him going about Lamar going to the Jets. So I've heard it. Uh, they piling up on players for somebody so they can afford to give up a couple picks. Brees Hall yep. is going to be a monster next year if Lamar. Yep. Yep. They got receivers galore. They've been piling up on players. For, One for, that was, Brees Hall's going to eat as running back. What if Aaron Rodgers goes to the Jets and lays an egg? How about that scenario? Far? <laughs> If we're gonna be goes to the Jets and it's trash, then the only place left for him to go is to come here to Minnesota, and he will truly follow every one of Brett Favre's shoes. I doubt he'll do it. So anyway, ding dong. Uh, the next topic, going back to the NCAA, but going to the women's brackets. Okay. Okay. There is a chick named Caitlin Clark. Plays for Iowa, I believe. Y'all hip to this? Mm-mm. This chick is Stephen Curry. She dropped a 41 point triple double. She Holy got 41, 12, and 10 in their last game. Damn. Send them to the final four. When I tell you she was hitting pro NBA three pointers like it was nothing, you've gotta look up the tape they they had a video of all 41 of her points and when i tell you it was mar it was a marvel it was something to watch it was incredible she was just wow. doing it. she was hitting logo threes she outrageous mm. <clears throat> he'll be playing for the Lynx next year or the lakers <laughs> or or the or, or the warriors <laughs> all right <laughs> She'll be she'll be on the Minnesota Lynx next year. Well, the Minnesota Timberwolves, right? She was hitting she was hitting threes better than the average NBA player. Yeah, and she was hitting NBA threes. She was just pulling up, boom, from way out, bam, bam. I'm like, holy smokes! Uh, yeah, Caitlin Clark makes me think of Caitlyn Jenner. Maybe she's a man. <laughs> anyway, maybe she is Steph Curry and drag. Joanna Man. <laughs> Joanna man, that's a classic. That's a sports movie we forgot to put on the list. <laughs> it is, it is, it is. You're absolutely right. That's very true, very true. Uh, the Pacers, Indiana Pacers, has entered into a multi-year agreement with drum roll, please. Tom Hanks, Fifty Cent. What? Ooh. Yes, they have entered a multi-year agreement with 50 cents to highlight youth initiatives in the Indianapolis area. That's dope. Okay. Pretty That's dope. awesome. That is pretty awesome. 
And I'm going to blow right past that story. Get on to another mock draft. This time we're going with Bucky Brooks. Top 10 picks for the NFL. Mock draft number two. Because we're closing in on the NFL draft. We're getting there. Yep. Mm -hmm. Which means the dynasty, dynasty, dynasty league draft is also approaching. Ooh, I'm already paying attention. Carolina Panthers with no, with pick number one, the first pick to the NFL draft. The Carolina Panthers select C.J. Stroud, quarterback out of Ohio State. Mm -hmm. Yep. And number two, the Houston Texans select Bryce Young, quarterback out of Alabama. Yep. With pick number. The Arizona Cardinals select Will Anderson Jr., edge rusher out of Alabama. And here comes the curveball. Thinking back to what Big Ed said a little while ago. With pick number four, the Indianapolis Colts select Tyree Wilson, edge rusher out of Texas Tech. Ooh. Whoa. Talk about a bust here. Oh, wow. And pick that, number that's the first shock of the draft right there. <laughs> it would be, right? And, then, and I'm going back to your theory that Indy might be going after Lamar. Uh, pick number five, the Seattle Seahawks select Jalen Carter, defensive tackle out of Georgia. That's what I would expect them to grab. Yep. At pick number six, the Detroit Lions select Devin Witherspoon, cornerback out of Illinois. Hmm. Okay. At pick number seven, the Las Vegas Raiders select Christian Gonzalez, cornerback out of Oregon. At pick number eight, the Atlanta Falcons select a monster. I don't know if y'all have seen this guy, but he's a monster. Lucas Van Ness, edge rusher out of Iowa. Yep. Yeah. That guy is a beast. Yeah, he's somebody else that was on the Bears watch list, too. So the, the, the Bears with pick number nine. The Chicago Bears select Peter Skoronsky, offensive tackle out of Northwestern. Yep. I still got Paris Johnson on that. And at pick number 10, the Philadelphia Eagles select Nolan Smith, edge rusher out of Georgia. Ooh. That's the one that ran all that, that ran faster than all the receivers. And uh, if we can scroll down a bit, because they actually have all of them. I'm trying to see who's a, at pick number 18, the Lions select uh, Collegia Cansey, defensive tackle out of Pittsburgh. Let's see. Well, and at pick number 23, the Minnesota Vikings select Zay Flowers, wide receiver out of Boston College. Mm. Who, uh, who picked up the uh, receiver from Ohio State? That would be in Jigba. Yep. And Jigba went to in this draft. He went to the Houston Texans with pick number oh, two. Oh wow! That'd be okay. Picked yeah, up Bryce Young sense. and got him a weapon. Yeah. I was just gonna say because Brandon Cooks is gone, so that makes a lot of sense. It does make sense, right? So there's our. Mock draft number two. That one from the first one was from Mel Kuyper. This was Bucky Brooks. Mock draft. And uh, I promised y'all we would be in and out. We've been in and now we're out. <laughs> Thanks for joining the offseason. I'm your boy, OG Tim Wilson. On behalf of the Nasty Boys, Big Ed and Ways, this has been the offseason and we're out of here. Peace. <laughs>